हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल वेर आई अपलोड वीडियोस ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स एंड बीएससी इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी कंपिटेटिव एग्जाम वेर हायर मैथमेटिक्स इज आस्ट माय चैनल इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू आई एम टीचिंग डिस्क्रीट मैथमेटिक्स टू यू एंड टूडे आई विल स्टार्ट ग्राफ थ्यूरी आई हैव डिस्कस्ड मेनी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑन डिस्क्रीट मैथमेटिक्स यू विल गेट लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन और ऑन आई टैब स्टूडेंट्स टूडे I am going to tell you the basic terminology that are used in graph theory. Now let's see it properly. Students first of all let's see what is graph. The graph G is a mathematical structure consisting of two sets V and E. so where we exist that is the set of vertex and where e exist is the set of edges right is this clear and the representation of this is what it is the graph is this clear to all of you now one more thing here this set e and v are always non empty sets okay because it will be a graph only if this is non empty right so let's see an example here we have a graph v1 and v2 as the vertex and e is the edge like here v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 what are these vertex here see e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 are what these are the edges clear now let's move ahead let's talk about basic terminology first what is a trivial graph so what is a trivial graph a graph consisting of only one vertex and no edges if there is any graph in which there is only a vertex and no edge see if only one vertex is there it means just a point is there right now then this type of graph is called a trivial graph Next is the null graph. Null graph means a graph consisting n vertices and no edges. Here there are only vertices and no edges. If there is no edge then no graph will be possible. Ultimately this type of graph is called a null graph. So this is the null graph, okay? Now let's talk about the directed graph. What is the directed graph? A graph consisting the direction of edges, then this is called a directed graph. If we have any graph in which the direction of the edges is made like here edge is going from here to here so this type of graph is called directed graph okay now next we will talk about the undirected graph a graph where there is no direction for the edges is given or that graph which is not directed that is called as an undirected graph now let's talk about self loop in a graph what does self loop means if edge is having the same vertex as both its end vertices is called self loop for example please pay attention here we have v1 v2 v3 as what vertex okay here e1 e2 e3 e4 is what these are the edges now look at this edge that is here it starts from v3 and it ends at v3 so what do we have here it's a self loop okay it starts and ends at the same vertex this is known as self loop listen what do we call this we call it self loop let's move forward proper edge so an edge which is not a self loop is called as proper edge now listen to me here e1 e2 e4 these are what these are proper edges that we have which are not self loops so basically an edge that makes a self loop it is not a proper edge okay now the edge that doesn't make a self loop is called a proper edge here e1 e2 and e4 are proper edge let's see what does multi edge means whenever we have two vertex suppose we have a vertex here and a vertex here this is correct one suppose this is v1 this is v2 and this is e1 so this is its edge i want to tell you that another edge is coming here which connects these two so more than one edge is connecting these two vertices okay so what do we call this type of edge we call this type of edge a multi edge now students let's talk about the simple graph i told you about edge before but what is a simple graph a graph does not contain any self loop and multi edge if there is no self loop or multi edge in any graph then this type of graph is called as what it is called as a simple graph is this clear now what does a multi graph mean a multi graph means it has multi edges but no self loop so what it is saying a graph does not contain any self loop but contain multi edge see this is a graph here what we are getting multi edge so we have more than one edge to connect two vertex right so such type of edge is known as a multi edge and if any graph has a multi edge then we call it a multi graph okay now let's move ahead now students we will talk about a pseudo graph so what is pseudo graph pseudo graph is a graph where we have multi edge as well as self loop right both are coming so what do we call it we have a pseudo graph so a graph contains both self loop and multi edge is called a pseudo graph see in this graph here we have self loop and multi edge can you see this or not so this type of graph is known as a pseudo graph 
let's move ahead and see what is incidence and adjacency now let's understand incidence and adjacency properly now let's say we have a vertex given here please pay attention guys now suppose that we have a vertex v1 here and a vertex v2 here and the edge connecting them is which it is e1 right so students e1 that is here it will be an incidence for vi1 and v2 right See the V1, V2 vertex that is here, it will be what for E1? Adjacency. Clear? Keep this in mind. Like see here, so E1 that is here will be what for V1 and V3? It will be an incidence. Right or not? And V1 and V3 vertices that is here will be what? It will be its adjacency. I am trying to tell you this thing only. Let EK be the edge joining two vertices VI and VJ. Then EK is called incidence. Okay? Students see here, VI and VJ, these two vertices are said to be adjacent if there exists an edge. Now, we need to pay attention. Again, tell me what is V1 and V2. That is here. So, students, V1 and V2 is adjacency to E1. But V1 and V3 are not adjacency to E3. Why? Because they don't connect E3. Right? It is adjacency to that edge with which it is connecting. You have to remember this thing. Is this clear? Now we will talk about the degree of a vertex. How to calculate degree of a graph? That is given to us. We will see. So the degree of vertex V in a graph G is written as dV and it is equal to the number of ages which are incident on V with self loop counted twice. Now students I want to tell you that it is V1 here. We can have different degrees of each vertex and to calculate degree here you will have to calculate degree of each vertex one by one. If I want to calculate the degree of V1. How many edges are connected here? Two edges are connected here. So, the degree of this will be 2 and the degree of this will be 2. Now, see that V4 has 3 degrees and here V5 has 2 degrees. Right? If I talk about V2, then here this is connected and this is connected. And we count the self-loop as 2. Ultimately, we will see that this is connected to this. This is also connecting, this also and this. So, here it will be 4. We will count the self-loop as 2. So, the degree of this will be 4. And here the degree of V6 will be what? It will be 2. Now, the degree of V7 is only 1. In this way, we can easily calculate the degree. Okay? Now, students, here degree of V8 will be what? Degree of V8 will be 0. But why? Because it is not connecting with any edge here in this graph. Clear? Now, we will discuss what is isolated vertex and what is pendant vertex. If you remember, I just told you that since V8 was not connecting with any graph, so what was degree of V8 here? It was 0, right? Now, students, when the degree of any vertex is 0, then it is called as an isolated vertex, right? Also, I want to tell you that the degree of this V7 is what? It is 1 here, then what do we call this? So, this will be known as pendant vertex. So, V7 is a pendant vertex and V8 is an isolated vertex. You have to keep this in mind. So, this is what is given in definition. A vertex having 0 is called isolated vertex. And a vertex having degree 1 is called a pendant vertex. Let's see what finite and infinite graphs are. So, students, here if we have a graph in which there is a finite number of vertex and edges, it will be a finite graph. If there is a graph with an infinite number of edges and vertex, then we have an infinite graph. Okay? This is what I have explained here. Now, let's move ahead. Let's see question. Which of the following is true for the given graph? We have graph here. And here we have the degree of the vertex that is given to us. You have to find which one is correct. Like it is saying degree of P6 is 3. Check whether P6 has a degree of 3. So, see we have 1, 2 and 3 here. So, its degree is 3. Actually, we will count 2 for self-loop. 2 and 1 is 3. So, this is correct. So, P6 is 2 will be wrong. Now, P1, what is the degree of P1? So, this is P1. Here it connects with two edges. So, what will be its degree? Its degree will be 2. Right or not? Here this is P2. How much is degree of P2? This is left. Its degree will be 0 because it is an isolated vertex. Right? So, what will be this? It will be wrong because it says that the degree of P2 is 1. Right? So, it will be wrong. Now, let's move ahead. The next question is number of isolated vertex in the following graph. You have to find out how many vertex are there in this graph that are isolated. It is only 1. Right? Because its degree is 0. We have this as isolated vertex. We can calculate the degree of all other vertex and that will be more than 0. Is this clear or not? So, students, we have only one vertex whose degree will be 0. Right? And this will be an isolated vertex. So, B option will be what? It will be correct. Okay? Let's move on to the next question. It says which of the following is pseudograph? Students, I gave you the definition of pseudograph earlier. So, the definition of a pseudograph is a graph with both multi-edges and self-loop. That is known as pseudograph. Okay? See, here we have a self-loop here. Can you see this or not? 
So here we have a self loop and here we have a multi edge as well, right? There is more than one edge to connect two vertices and there is also a self loop here. So this graph will be a pseudo graph. Here is a self loop but no multi edge, right? That's why this is not. Here is a multi edge but self loop is not here. If there was self loop, this would also have been pseudo graph. Because here multi edge and here we should have self loop. But it's not happening right now. So that's why this is not a pseudo graph, clear? So this option is correct. Let's move ahead. Now let's see next one. Here it is saying that these are vertices and these are edges. And the function defined here is that the vertices are Indian cities. We have mentioned Delhi, Raipur, Bhopal, Agra and Aligarh as the Indian cities. See here we are given the distances between them. Like V1 is connected to V4 and the distance is 199. V2 is denoted by V3 and the distance is 697. These are distances given, now it is asking. To label after drawing the diagrams of the graph. Basically what you have to do is, you have to draw a graph on the information given to you. So let's see what we will do first. Which is being connected to which one. So V1 is being connected to V4. V1 is Delhi. So, what I will write here, dv1, it will be better. Let's write dv1. Next, we have Raipur here. Actually, v1 is connecting with v4 and v4 will be Agra, right? So, I will take this. This is Agra. Therefore, I will write it as av4, right? And I write it like this so that it will be a little better for us. Next, see v2 and v3. We have v2 as Raipur. So, I will write Raipur with v2, okay? Is this clear? And here we have v3. V3 is Bhopal, if you will write what is connecting in front of it, so it will be better, right? So students, here will be Bhopal and here we will have V3, okay? Next, we have Aligarh here, V5 here, because V4 is connected to V5. Since it is Aligarh, I will write V5, therefore it will be V5 and Aligarh. Now see which is connecting to which one. You can see that V1 is connecting to V4 and it is 199, here will be 199. Is this clear? Now here we have vertex. What is coming here? Edges that are connecting this, right? Which is written here and we are denoting it with the distance, right? Next V2 to V3. This is V2 and this is V3. So what is connecting it? 697. Is it clear? Next let's look at V3 and V4. This is V3 and here this is V4, right? Here this will connect to this and here what we will get? 500. Clear? Next let's see V4 and V5. So this is V4 and V5. Therefore we will get 90 here, okay? Is this clear? Therefore, this will be its graph. Okay? So, this is how we will represent it. I hope you have understood it properly. Now, let's move ahead. So, thank you so much for watching me. Did you like first lecture of graph theory? I think you must have understood it very well. I want to tell you that I am going to bring more lectures on graph theory very soon. You can see my discrete mathematics playlist in the end. If you want to learn short tricks, if you are preparing for any competitive exam where higher maths is asked. So, you can watch my videos here. You can subscribe to my channel here and you can follow me on Instagram here. Thank you so much for watching me like, share and subscribe to the channel. Press the notification bell so that you get all the notifications of upcoming videos. Thank you very much to all of you. Bye-bye.